I, th- I think there's, I think women naturally put a lot more care in their appearance and and, and that side of things. I, th- I would, I would, I would go as far as to say that I think women, on the whole, are more virtuous than men when it comes mm. to relationships. That may be a controversial thing to say, but I do think that it's the truth, especially at the younger age brackets. Mm. I think like, they put in more effort overall. Like from uh, what? Mm. how many how many girls do you know that have cheated on men versus men that have cheated on girls? Because I know it at a two to one or a three to one ratio so going you, men to women. Do you think the motivations are different between why men cheat and why women cheat? Yeah. So yeah, I can't remember who it was. Some relationships guy saying. Men cheat because they want sex or they want variety. Mm-hmm. Women cheat because they feel it not attended to enough. So here we here we go. Have you heard me use the family guy analogy before? Oh, yeah. This is my favourite analogy <laughs> that I use for dating. There's so a lot I, of uh, wisdom in that. I isn't fucking there? love this. The one. writers are clearly quite smart guys. So anyone who's watched Family Guy before, Peter is stood at the window watching Bonnie, who's Joe's wife, out of the window. And he's got binoculars and he's looking at her changed out the window and he's making like under his voice going like she's really hot and sort of making man noise <laughs> and then Stewie comes in and he walks along to the side and he goes what are you doing fat man looks at him he goes looks out to the window and he sees Bonnie getting changed and he goes I don't understand you've got this smoking hot wife at home why would you be looking at oh I see it doesn't need to be better it just needs to be different <laughs> and the value of novelty in a relationship of something new mm. cannot be understated. Biochemically speaking as well. Like mm. it's, it, we can get onto that as yeah. well, the, the um, genetic lottery, as it's mm-hmm. called. Yep. But the value of novelty can't be understated. It mm. doesn't need to be better. Mm. It just needs to be different. Mm-hmm. And I think that so much cheating from men can be explained by that. So another... A it's hyperbolic it's, discounting. <laughs> it's not <laughs> what that is. So it's... So cheating is the reason that people cheat from my perspective, from like a behavioral perspective is um, it's failure to see the, the power and the value of a long-term outcome, long-term cost or benefit Mm -hmm. and not being able to discount that appropriately with a short term, short term positive for long term. But also I think like, especially guys, the number of the guys who I know who've like cheated and like have even thought about cheating and then cheated. Mm -hmm. It's the, it's the narrative of, they are better, different, more interesting, funnier, mm-hmm. more attractive, whatever. But I just think there's a fixed trajectory that relationships take. Mm-hmm. And it's just starting that process again. Yeah. Like month mm-hmm. one, month two, great. So There's so much stuff that we can go into here. I'm going to let you do the...